What's going on, y'all? This is your man, Jameer Ling. Welcome to a special episode of Daddy's Right Here Live. I'm your host, as always, Jameer Ling. So since tomorrow, I've been on the grind, trying to get this album done. This is album number three for me. Uh, you want to be me. You want to be me. That's the title of the album. Uh, nine cuts on there. The title track, You Want to Be Me, is on there. Uh, you have Black Boy, Trick, Waste Me. Uh, what else I got? Got a bunch of them. One, two, three, three. We're going to start, you know, from where it all began for me. In uh, 2021. For those of you that don't know, I have some background in uh, public relations and promotions of entertainment, uh, local entertainment in Philadelphia. I uh, did stage lighting, sound, uh, learned studio mixing, and I learned that from Jamaluddin Takuma, who is like one of the world's greatest bases from out of Philadelphia. Uh, taught me some things about mixing on a task cam, and I went out and bought me a task cam for the studio, uh, 24 tracks, you bounce it, you turn it into 96, whatever you're working with. Uh, but it, it's been quite a journey, man, just embarking upon doing music uh, on my own. Uh, always felt that I was a poet, so I did a lot of writing throughout the years, a lot of freelance writing. Online newspapers, blog, blog talk radio, uh, videos on YouTube, my severely education station on YouTube, where I uh, probably have a uh, little over 200 videos on personal growth, development, uh, parenting. Uh, Daddy's Right Here is the uh, nonprofit, it's now with LLC. <coughs> But this whole music thing, man, has been like a, a joy. You know, uh, started out with a poem and turned the poem into a song. And then I wrote more songs. And next you know, I was writing on a regular basis, just writing, 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 writing. writing. And the, uh, eventually, man, it just came to the point where I said, I want to start putting stuff out. So I started putting some stuff out. Uh, I didn't know Spring Chicken. DJ for a lot of years, starting back in the, the mid to late 70s, did a lot of DJ, did a club in North Philly, uh, Stafford Valerian, for those of you who are familiar with Philadelphia, it's on uh, Sargent Street, um, yeah, so I have the ear, I have the eye, um, and I learned that um, I have some other skills. I just want to start putting those skills to work. Don't profess to be any rapper, any R&B singer. I'm an artist, so I just create. Everything you're going to hear tonight, I wrote. Everything you hear tonight, I mix. Everything you hear tonight, I master. Well, I use e-mastery. Uh, e masters online to do my mastering, but... Um, it's a lot of work put into it, you know, and, and when you start doing this, man, you really start seeing how much work really goes into this. You know, it's a lot of work these dudes do, too, man, these ladies do, and in the, in the uh, name of culture, right? Uh, I consider my music to be some R&B, some hip-hop, uh, it's got a rap cut on there, um, Spoken word, you know, spoken word was really my thing, you know, uh, going to some stuff with, uh, I like to listen to Gil Scott Hurry back in the 70s, and that was really my flavor for a while, Common, John Legend, uh, Nancy Wilson, Nina Simone, it, it was, uh, a lot of people who I listened to were storytellers, talked about social injustices and, you know, some of the things that, uh, you know, that go on in this world thing. That's been my place, you know, talking about worldly things. Uh, bought 
me a keyboard uh, last year. Haven't played the thing because um, most of what I do is in Ableton 11 Live. Uh, but it's all tied in now. Learn how to play eventually. But I learned a lot about the keys. I can pretty much hear A, A to G very clearly now. So I kind of know what it is that I'm looking for you know, when I'm creating the beats. Uh, but there's a lot of people out there, man, that are still waiting on a contract. They're waiting on somebody to come knocking on the door and tell them how, how great their skills are, man. And it doesn't work that way. You know, it really doesn't work that way. Uh, it's, it's a matter of applying yourself, man, and just, you know, staying the course and keeping that grind on. There are millions of artists out there, man. And uh, you wait for that to happen. It may not happen, man. But for me... You know, when the culture of uh, uh, social media changed, allowing independence of the artists, you know, that was the greatest thing to this life break. And I took advantage of it, and I continue to take advantage of it. So it's not just in the video, now it's the music. It's just like my, my creative uh, juices can flow, and I can do just what the hell I want to do. So when I hear people saying that they're still waiting on this, they're still waiting on that, it really ain't about it. You just talk, right? So, you know, I put my mouth, you know, and my mind together, and I made it happen. Anybody, anybody, I use audacity uh, for uh, putting together my beats and my, my, my music. I put it all together in audacity and mix it. And audacity is free. Go online, audacity, A U D A C I E Y. it's free. Right? I bought thousands and thousands of beats during COVID. I probably bought maybe 80, 90, 100,000 beats. And I started learning to put notes together and uh, making my, my beats that way. Uh, and I still have thousands of them. From one shot to the melody to, you know, tired beats, you know, songs, man. And, and uh, then I just learned that I, when I bought the keyboard, I had the software for this Ableton Live, man. And, and I've been off to the races ever since. So don't wait. Don't wait. You see a little silver here, you know, been around for a minute. So, uh, but like, it can, it can happen any time. I'm not looking for a contract. I'm not looking for, you know, any deals. You know, which makes it easier. You don't have that pressure. You, know, you don't have that pressure, man. I'm having fun. You know, if something comes out of it that's green and not, listen, I have a legacy that I'm leaving behind. You know, my, my grandchildren, my great, great, great grandchildren, they always have something to say, that, that's, that's Papa, that's my father, that's my own so-and-so. Yeah, you know, it's just that legacy, and that's what's more important to me. You know, if I turn out to be a, uh, you know, recording artist, you know, that, that's on the chart, and it's great. If I turn out to be the one that's doing the beats, that's great too. Whatever, whatever end I wind up on, you know, I'm happy with it, you know. And I'm going to keep on going that way. Uh, started a new platform today, uh, as you see on the screen, uh, StreamYard. Yeah, StreamYard allows you to connect to all of your social media platforms. So right now, this is live on Facebook, this is live on LinkedIn, live on my YouTube station, and then some of you are uh, on Instagram, that's on my phone, but I'm, I'm on three platforms, you know, um, in one set, and that's something that I've always wanted to do, because I would have my, my phone here, my camera here, my iPad there, my computer set up, and it's like so many different cameras and so many different angles, and now I can just hit everybody at the same time. Like, that's how this thing is developing, man. And if you're not on top of this stuff, man, get on top of it. Everything that I've been doing, like, I just I, I just make myself learn it. You know, the video animation, all those things that I do, uh, you know, my penmanship with the art, you know, all those things, man, I sit down and I just study it, I learn it, and I become proficient with it, right, uh, there's so many things, man, that, you know, 
we could be doing in our day other than out in the street getting hot, involved in violence, killing, all that stuff, you know, it, it doesn't fit into the scheme of where it is that you're trying to go. I know you're not trying to go there. Where you want to go, you can only go there when you're around people who are doing that. That's where your greatness comes in by being a follower. You know, learning to be an open mind, being humble, not being arrogant, not saying I know, I know, I know, I know. I know a whole lot of people, you know, years later, man, still saying, I got this. And nothing has developed. And that's their nature. They're going to be just like that always with talk. If I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And I sit down and put my mind to it. So it's motivation, man, for, you know, others that I'm, I'm trying to encourage. Like, to sit down and start doing this thing, man. Find, find satisfaction within yourself. Don't, don't wait for somebody else. Don't look for somebody else to, to bring it to you because it's not coming. It's just too, it's too, it's too much competition out here, man. You know, my style is different. Um, you know, born in the 60s, you know, so, you know, you'll find 70s, 80s, 90s flavors in my music, you'll find jazz, you'll find r you'll find hip-hop, you know, you'll find everything in my music, right, because I'm not trying to emulate anybody else in terms of the music, that I stand out, and as an individual, I believe that I stand out for who I am, and that's what it comes down to, just think how many times people were told no, and like, look at, the, look at their greatness today, you know? Uh, Jennifer Holliday, a perfect example, who was on American Idol, got booted. Look at her. Look at her. She's been in film. She's, you know, just a, an amazing artist. You know, and the list goes on. You know, 50 Cent. You know, when you look at his life and his and the history, you know, all the things that he endured through the course of his life, and look at him today. You know, just look. You know, uh, Mayweather, when you look at the Jordan, of the world, when you look at, you know, uh, you just look at people, and the greatness begins in the house, and that's where it stands, and that's where we have to begin to get, you know, uh, our children, it's, uh, Serena and Venus, you know, from childhood, Michael Jackson, from childhood, Tiger Woods, from childhood, you know, it's, that's where it is, man. You have to fan the fuel of desire to get that, get that stuff going, man, and keep it going. So you have to be committed. Um, so, you know, I'm going to go back to some of the stuff um, that I did. And you can find, you know, my music on Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, Apple Music, Deezer, iHeartRadio. Um, and the list just goes, goes on. Uh, so you can hear, the, hopefully hear the progression and the growth uh, from where I was in October of 2021. I'm going to let you hear uh, Devil's Way. Now, the Devil's Way, you know, is about the society we live in. Not just racism, you know, racism, you know, it's the thing that we're subjected to every day in our own communities, in our own homes, you know, they're hiding in plain sight, right, right here in front of you, if you don't know who the enemy is, you really don't, you know, you really don't, uh, the conflicts and complications that I experienced throughout the years of my life, you know, weren't just from, you know, white races. You know, I had to come home, you know, to the hood. I grew up in Wilson Park Project in South Philly uh, in the 60s. Up, up to about 78, I gravitated uh, up north. But I had to be subjected to my house being robbed, you know, like four or five times. I was raised by my mother, right? And everybody who robbed my house looked like me. It wasn't white races coming to the projects, breaking into our homes, right? They looked like me. And 
And most of the time they knew me. But, you know, so cowardly that they would break into a single woman's home, a single mother's home. Wouldn't run up in some dude's house, right? You know, want to run up in my mother's crib, you know, working hard, taking care of her two children, and working overnight, and working some days, and we at school, we come home, and there's no TV, there's no school. So, you know, I'm not on that bandwagon of, you know, hate whites. You know, I don't hate at all. I always learned that you like not the person. You like not what you do. So the devil's way was a poem. Let you hear that. Thank you. 
getting there. Some couldn't take it. Overcome by greed. Property law. Master come to find you. Remind you who's boss. Finding you is easy. Uncle Tom is a play. They're hiding in plain sight. The devil's way. Taking it all in 
from each part of the world. Fashion in his blackness. The title of this song is Slowly Wise. He became the first man. He was given a wife, a helper. Both were given clear direction. You gotta make use of the house, too. That's how they both suffered spiritual death for their transgression. Eventually, both experienced physical death. Man belongs to him. This is right and now. To him. Yeah. Oh, crazy her wish. It would be a terrible thing to die, not in a state of total submission to his will, forever wandering aimlessly in this life and the next.
Yeah. 
love this song here. And I hope you do too.
tell you about Trick, right? And see, if you didn't tune in tonight, and if you don't watch this video, right, you won't know. She doesn't exist. When dudes go to clubs, when dudes go to, you know, venues where there's going to be women, there's some mind trick that we play within ourselves, right? We get all jazzed up, we get all sprayed up with the colognes and walk around smelling like a French whore and, you know, we tell ourselves all these things is going to happen when we get there. Right? And if we've been there before, we already had that one person in our mind who's always there, and that's the person, like, who's the easiest target. Right? That's that predator within us, right? So we already are telling ourselves what's going to happen, who's doing what, how she rides, because we know what she do. Right? You know, and we, we find ourselves sitting at the bar, spending money, right, buying her drinks, and we know that the end result is, like, you know, we're really not going to connect with that person, but it's a good feeling within us, in us to believe that. So we tell ourselves that. You know, we tell ourselves that we know this person, we see her talking to this person and that person, so it's in our head already, right? The plot is already there, and it never happens, right? And we do all of this, and then you go home and you put the key in the door, Right, because you got somebody at the crib, and when you open the door, love is gone. You never saw it disappear. She knew all along what was going on, right? So you never found yourself at her crib, riding her all night. You spent all this money making it rain and all these other kind of things, but it was a trick within you. So it's not saying that the woman is the trick, right? Because that's what you're, you're conditioned to believe, that trick, if you call a woman a trick, that means she's out there, she's a working girl. But no, this is about the trick that we play within ourselves as males. And some of us don't outgrow that. We stay within that same condition. We stay within that same condition. And it's a mind trick, you know? Come on, women do it too. Well, we ain't talking about women tonight. We're talking about dudes because that's what this song trick is about. You didn't pick her. She's in your mind. You never had contact with her, for real, for real. It was a game that you played within yourself. You go to the club, yeah, ladies love it. So he says, the paper chase is willing to spread the leg. But you the one walking into the spot. Mr. Guy's going on. Mr. Bling Bling. And you want to buy her a drink. You want to buy her a drink. You want them to think that you got it like that, and you don't. Right? Because as soon as you wake up Saturday morning, Sunday morning after the club, you ain't got no money. Right? So you can only do it like Friday night, then you want to try to do it Saturday night too. Because you can't, you got to play that game within yourself. Clubs and meat markets, that's all they are. That's all they are. Right? And every other venue where there's men and women together, it turns into the same thing. I don't care where the hell you're going. Whether it's the church, the masjid, the supermarket. That's where the connection is made. But it's like you go into your head and you tell yourself these things. You know, like the laundromat is definitely the place to hook up. You ever see the women coming in the laundromat, right? <laughs> and we know that. We know they come jiggling and everything like that because they're getting up trying to get the clothes washed, right? They got households to take care of, so they're trying to get the laundry done. So you want to help today. You want to go carry the stuff. But you know Susie come up in there and she got them 44s. Just be a bouncer. Right? It's a mind game, man. You know, when it's that predatory behavior we have as males, man, when we go, you know, hey, Denise, the writer, how you doing? How's you and the guy doing? You know, and, and you guys, I'm glad, I'm glad you guys got married, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you guys. Sincerely, you know, you guys make a great couple, man. Um... Yeah, but it's a game that we play, man, when we, we we about that lifestyle, man. It never happens. So listen to the song again. Uh, the album uh, will be uh, on the shelves um, any hour. Um, you're just having an opportunity tonight to listen to it, you know, live before it comes out into the stores. But again, it's album number three. Um it's, a, it's, it's three more tracks on there that you haven't heard tonight and newsflash you won't be hearing it tonight check it out look at the banner YouTube Spotify 
Deezer, iHeartRadio, Apple, iTunes, um, and, and, and a host of others, man. I, I ran my name and it popped up all over and in different languages. So, you know, it, it's, 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 been, it's been everywhere, man. Well, uh, thank you guys for, for tuning in. Whatever uh, uh, media platform you're on, it's like I said, from here, I can actually, uh, it's actually on Facebook, it's on LinkedIn, it's on my Severely Educational Station on YouTube. This is the first time I'm using this this, uh, this platform. Uh, it's something that I've always tried to do. You know, you got your phone in one hand, you got your iPad over here, and you got your computer trying to do all of those things that you can do right here. And no, they're not cutting me a check, but this is like the best thing to slice bread for me because I can sit right here and I can put everything I want on three platforms. I can't get it on Instagram, so those of you who are on Instagram, uh, 12 o'clock at night, you know, um, thank you, you know, for tuning in, uh, but yeah, this is, this is, this is it for me, so, and remember that, um, I'm also a spodcaster, so I'm doing a Spotify podcasting thing, uh, as well, uh, but Daddy's right here live, I'll, I'll shoot out a blast on when that's going to be a regular time, this is definitely not a regular time, this is like, this is old people sleep time. This, you know, this, this is like the time we get up in the middle of the night, go get a glass of cold water, and go get back in the bed, right? So, but you know, I had a, a long uh, few months putting this album together. It's been a lot of work, and um, I'm going to play this one last one for you. Uh, the title of this song is "Waste Me." Yeah, waste me, waste me, waste me, waste me. You know, this. The song Waste Me came about as a result of the, uh, the failed relationships, specifically marriages. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been married four times, and I'm going to do it a fifth time. Um, I have an aunt, you know, my aunt Deanna pretty much raised me like I was a whole son. And uh, she's the only one that said to me, you know, what makes sense. You know, everybody else, I say, well, I've been married four times, so what you do wrong? You just knew that, uh, you know, uh, out of five serious relationships, I married four. And uh, just two good people could make things work. The reality of it is it's work. It's work. And everybody's not really willing to do the work. And uh, my aunt said to me, she said, well, baby, you know, you just keep on trying. You know, and then she, she's the most spiritual person I've ever met in my life, man. You know, Everybody else, are you doing something wrong? And this, that, and that. It's not, it's not that, you know. Um, but I can tell you that, that Denise is a great example of, of what works and how it works and making it work. And, and you know, her and her dude, you know, got married, uh, I guess it's been a couple of years now. And uh, congratulations to you guys. Uh, but I'm going to do it the fifth time, right? I'm going to do it the fifth time. And, uh, I'm going to leave it at that, but the, uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, the song Waste Me really talks about, um, like having a, a dude who does everything he's supposed to do. All these songs are about my life, so you really got to, like, really listen. Waste Me was the, 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 the time, the effort. Uh, the commitment that I put into these marriages only to find myself empty-handed. Empty-handed. You know, uh, and no blame. It's just a reality that everybody's not willing to work. You know, there are a variety of reasons why people are attracted to another person. You know, I've been an enabler all my life, and that's, that's an area that I've worked on for the past three years not being an enabler. I'm not the dude who needs instructions. We together, rent's going to be on the table, you know, in the account, bills are going to be taken care of, responsible, I go to work, I come home, I don't do the streets anymore, I, I got away from all that stuff, you know, um, but I do everything that I think I'm supposed to do, and I even ask you what's needed. And still at the end of the day, no growth. You know, facing the same situations, the same circumstances over and over again with no resolve, you know.
know. Um, so that's what waste meat is about. So listen to waste meat. Let me pull it up here. Listen to the song, and that'll be my night night song. So the only song, so you didn't hear the title track, You Want to Be Me. And I can tell you about You Want to Be Me. You Want to Be Me is not a, 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 an arrogant statement. You want to be me, you have to listen to it. Because it talks about uh, separating yourself from the pack. You know, I, I, I'm solo. You know, I rode solo most of my life. You know, but when it's time to pack up, we pack up. But I, I rode solo. You know, but at some point, you know, you just have to get away from the pack, man. And you, you have to do it from the muscle, right? And I remember, and it's funny, Denise is on here. Denise was one of the people that, that connected me with some media people. Uh, a sister who is uh, no longer, you know, uh, here on this earth. But that was one of the first connections. Then I met uh, another, then another. And everybody came through, you know, that one person, you know, Denise. And um, that's how it happens, man. You know, you put your work in, you do what you have to do, and, you know, people see you, and if they, they have that sense of sincerity coming from you, they're willing to help. You know, but that don't mean you don't you don't still ride solo. You keep it moving. So I had some uh, some great relationships, you know, just from that one connect, and that's how it happens, man. You know, you, and you just keep on going. Um, but, yeah, let's go to Waste Me. You know, thank you guys for your continued support, whatever platform you're on, because I can't see all of them. Um, I can just see that there's check marks and that they're, they're live. That's all I can see. Um, so thank you for your continued support. And let's listen to Wait. Yeah. 
out and see what it could be me. You're here for the first time live tonight. I should be out on the show the next one today. This is album number three. Mm-hmm. I see. 